Hi, my name is Dan Hansen, and I'm a technical marketing manager with Cisco Server Access and Virtualization Group. This video is part of a series that's intended to show some of the unique advantages made possible by Cisco's server offering called the Unified Computing System, or UCS for short. This video will show the viewer the details uh, related to analyzing traffic um, to various adapters uh, within the UCS system. So where we'll start here is actually around looking at the, the hardware infrastructure here. Just show that there's a mixture of some blades, some rack mount servers that we'll be looking at, both with regular bare metal adapters and what we call VM facts. So when we look at the actual fabric interconnects on the UCS system, both sides, I've uh, set up uh, 13 right now is really physically what is plugged into my host that I'm doing the uh, the actual traffic analysis on. So on here we'll show how to basically run through the system, but the real goal here is to be able to view traffic flows and manage and, and troubleshoot systems on a physical infrastructure as well as a virtual one in the same. So what we do under the LAN tab is we create a traffic monitoring session here, and I'll just call it 13, and um, I select the actual that I'm going to have as the destination for these traffic flows that I wish to monitor inside the UCS. Now since UCS is fundamentally two separate fabrics, a fabric A and a fabric B, um, due to the FC nature and the high availability nature, I'll create an identical monitoring session on the peer fabric interconnect. Again, this will go into another adapter on my monitoring device. So when I look at these and I go back, now I've jumped onto the console of the actual server that is running the monitor system. In this case, it's one of our C460 servers, and I have the Emulex One Connect card plugged into this server. And I'm just, uh, I labeled the adapters that are uh, plugged into those port 13, monitoring session A and B. So now I'll start up the Wireshark to uh, take a look and, and get this ready to go and just show how we will be actually viewing the uh, traffic. So first thing that we're going to do is actually um, decide what types of traffic that we wish to actually monitor um, on this uh, on this session. So the first idea is, is these are the various things I can monitor. Server ports, uplink Ethernet ports, etc. <clears throat> so the first one is I can look at on a physical server. So these are um, ports on the UCS fabric interconnect that are connected down toward both individual servers, uh, fabric extenders or fexes, or into the chassis themselves, the UCS chassis. On the uplink ports, these are the ports that are facing the data center, the customer data center, and I can configure that to monitor what I'm sending to and receiving from the data center channels or aggregated links going to the data center, or I can start to do monitoring by VLAN. So this is showing just a, a list of VLANs that we have defined on this uh, lab system, and we would select one of these to set up to do the monitoring. So the VLAN type, and then we'll also demonstrate VNICs and VHBAs and talk to some of these other port types, but FCOE storage and uh, appliance ports, excuse me, relate to the actual direct attached storage that customers can put inside the UCS. So the VLAN is currently the one that is selected um, where I'm starting to set up um, and the receive only traffic basically, and that's from the perspective uh, of the UCS receiving traffic on that, on that port. So if we look at the VLANs, uh, on that VLAN, I'm sorry. If we look at the VLANs and we open the capture capability on here, the uh, interfaces here, I have the uh, A and B fabrics uh, defined again on there. So I'll, I'll take a quick look on the, on the uh, VLAN session, and I can see the various unicasts, broadcasts that are going on on that given VLAN um, within my system. Now, the sources and destinations can be uh, much like any span session. I mean, in here it can be um, for physical or virtual uh, devices when you do a 
per uh, by VLAN span session. So we'll jump back. We'll take that out. <clears throat> One thing we want to take a quick look at is uh, I can also look at bare metal uh, adapters. So I can look at the adapters that are going into and out of an individual server within the Cisco UCS system. So on here, when I look at one of the adapters, and I'll, I'll select in both directions, uh, to and from that physical port uh, between the server and the UCS, and we'll jump back and restart our Wireshark session, and um, we start to see just you know some of the basic traffic flow that's coming across. Uh, in the interest of time, we'll just jump right ahead here and uh, delete that session. And the next thing that we want to look at is the fiber channel adapters that are out there. Since the UCS fabric supports unified I.O. and the fiber channel traffic is now on top of an Ethernet transport, we can actually flag VHVAs on the bare metal servers and bring those now into Wireshark. This saves the cost of a lease or a capital expense in buying an FC protocol analyzer if there's any troubleshooting or issues to be uh, fleshed out. So when we look at this, you'll see the uh, Wireshark, basically. We can uh, go deep and analyze the FCOE headers, the fiber channel headers. All that's well-defined and uh, understood. Um, and go in and uh, take a look at the flows. If there's any sort of an issue, it's, it's the traditional um, use case for any kind of debug or troubleshooting case that's out there, the reason to run traffic monitoring sessions. So now that we've uh, taken a look at the uh, FC uh, case, um, which is you know very unique to Cisco UCS, we can start to go one step further. We'll come back to the NICs, like I said, but uh, I can also, I could have uh, taken a look here on the source selection to look at FCOE storage ports, so if I take an FCOE target and put it on the UCS system, and or appliance iSCSI or NAS filers and put them on the UCS directly. Again, unique in terms of some of the target capabilities that can be put in a pod out with the Cisco UCS. Now if I jump into a uh, VM that's actually running within the UCS system here, what I'll basically do is, is um, set up a, a ping session um, um, set up a perpetual ping session here and um, just so that we have some traffic and what we want to do is much like I showed for the Ethernet on the physical bare metal adapters when you look here you'll see ah under here I have port 1826 and that's mapped to this um, what I called the Apollo 2 profile and it's a dynamic adapter 13 so the VMFX part of this series will show that in detail, the reasoning and how to set that all up. But on here I can set that adapter, that 13 that vCenter has now configured and made use of on the VM. And I can establish a traffic monitoring session directly in and out of that virtual NIC, directly connected to the virtual machine. Again, the goal is to have the operational simplicity and capabilities to be to mirror um, what what customers have been doing in the bare metal, um, you know, pizza box or rack mount um, environments. So when I start the capture, you'll see this ping and ping, uh, the echo and echo reply coming back between a couple of the servers. One is inside the UCS on a VM. One is an external server that is out there. So I take a look at this. It's an external, um, just, just you know, inexpensive lab box we have sitting there. So on here, when I take a look, I can come in and, uh, you know, looking at the direction, I could certainly isolate it to receive. So this is the traffic that I'll actually be receiving from the VM now going into the UCS. So you see 6.180 is my VM. And that's the traffic that's coming into the UCS from the virtual machine behind the VM fax. Now if I set transmit, obviously it's just going to quickly show the other way. When I commit the change, now non-service impacting the actual traffic that we're sending out to the VM 
is now being shown in the uh, in the analyzer. So basically, what we're showing here is the that port that we set up now shows up as configured for a monitor port. Okay, as the port type, and uh, we see that on both fabrics. So to recap, operating and analyzing traffic in a virtual environment can be a lot different, very challenging than what customers are used to in physical environments. Cisco UCS really helps this, and uh, by offering a consistent management for both worlds. This ends this video. Please go to www.cisco.com slash go slash UCS for more information. Thank you.